Have you ever stopped to ponder the nature of attention? This seemingly ordinary faculty is the key to unlocking the mysteries of the universe. Attention is the gateway to perception, and perception is the foundation of reality. It is through attention that we can shape the world around us, manifest our desires, and transcend the limitations of the physical realm. Attention is the gift that separates us from the machines, the power that enables us to connect with our innermost selves and the world beyond. It is a force that can be harnessed to achieve great things or can be squandered on trivial matters. This intangible force that lies within each and every one of us, yet so often goes unnoticed, can be the difference between success and failure, joy and suffering, enlightenment and ignorance. It is the lens through which we view the world and the key that unlocks the doors to our greatest potential. But beware, for as with any great power, attention must be wielded with intention and awareness, lest we become lost in the illusions of our own creation. It is very much like a form of energy. It can be harnessed and directed to achieve great things, but it can also be dissipated and scattered leaving us feeling drained and depleted. Think of it like a flashlight. If you focus the beam of light on a single point, it can cut through even the darkest of shadows. However, if you allow the beam to scatter, the light becomes weak and ineffective. Like a stream of water, our attention flows through the landscape of our perception, carving out channels and shaping our experiences. It can be directed and focused like a laser beam, or scattered and diffused, like a mist. And just as a laser beam can cut through steel, so too can our focused attention cut through the illusions and distractions that cloud our minds. But here's the thing. Our attention is under constant assault from the forces of modern life. From the endless barrage of notifications on our devices, to the constant demands on our time and energy, it's all too easy for our attention to become scattered and fragmented. And when our attention is scattered, we lose touch with the present moment. We become lost in a sea of thoughts, worries and distractions, unable to focus on what truly matters. But there is hope. By learning to cultivate our attention, we can regain our focus and reconnect with the present moment. We can learn to see through the illusions that surround us and tap into a deeper level of awareness. Your attention is a powerful form of energy, a force that can shape your reality. Every moment, every second, you are feeding your reality with your attention, amplifying the energies that surround you. Every time you focus on something, you give it energy and make it grow. It doesn't matter if you have a positive or negative opinion of it. As long as you pay attention to it, you are feeding it. And this is where we must be very clear. Your attention is the most important factor. So it's crucial to be mindful of where you direct your attention. Sometimes you may wonder why negative things keep happening in your life, even though you don't want them to. The answer is simple you are consciously paying attention to them. You may criticize or deny them, but as long as you give them your attention, you are feeding them. You are giving them energy, and they keep growing. The problem is that positive things often go unnoticed because we are conditioned to pay more attention to what we don't want. If you want something to disappear from your life, stop paying attention to it. This applies to debts and other worries as well. Take care of them, but don't obsess over them. When you focus on an idea or thought, you not only feed it, but you also connect with its energy. You become a part of it, and it manifests in your perception and life. Complaining about something is still connecting with it and giving it power, causing it to appear repeatedly in your life. To avoid getting trapped in negative beliefs or thoughts, understand that your attention feeds and gives energy. When negative thoughts arise, 
immediately focus on something positive and give it strength. Even if you have already given your attention to something negative, you can still redirect your focus to something positive. Positive thoughts are more powerful than negative thoughts due to their frequency and harmony. This simple practice can change your reality, but it takes discipline to put into practice. The power of attention lies in its ability to shape our reality. It is said that where attention goes, energy flows. By focusing on what you want to create, rather than what you fear or dislike, you can transform your thoughts into tangible outcomes and manifest a world that aligns with your highest aspirations. It's simple, but powerful. You have a choice to make regarding how you wield the power of attention. You can choose to be a passive observer of your surroundings, allowing your mind to be constantly bombarded with distractions and stimuli, or you can choose to take control of your attention. If you allow your attention to be controlled by external forces, you are essentially living in a prison of your own making. However, if you take control of your attention, you can break free from the limitations of your current reality and create a new one that is in alignment with your true goals and aspirations. Attention is what allows you to filter out the noise of the world, to hone in on what truly matters, and to be present in the moment. Without attention, you would be lost in a sea of stimuli, unable to make sense of the world around you. But attention is not just a passive act of observation. It is also an active force, capable of shaping and transforming your reality. When you direct your attention towards something, you bring it into focus, imbuing it with meaning and significance. This is why the act of paying attention is so powerful. By giving something your attention, you are, in effect, giving it your energy and intention. You are shaping your reality by choosing what to focus on and what to ignore. And this is where things get really interesting. You see, attention is not just a personal act, but a collective one. We are constantly influencing and being influenced by the attention of others. Our attention is a currency that we exchange with the world and with each other. For example, our collective attention shapes the media we consume, the issues we care about, and the products we buy. Consider the power of advertising. Advertisers know that by capturing our attention, they can shape our desires, our beliefs, and even our sense of self. They know that by creating a compelling narrative, they can influence our behavior and shape our reality. This is why they invest heavily in capturing our attention and directing it towards their desired outcomes. In many ways, attention is like a muscle that you can train and strengthen over time. By practicing mindfulness and cultivating a deep awareness of your surroundings, you can become more attuned to the present moment and develop a greater sense of clarity and purpose. But like any muscle, your attention can also be weakened if you neglect it or allow yourself to become distracted by the countless stimuli vying for your attention in the modern world. The constant barrage of notifications, advertisements and social media can easily pull you away from the things that truly matter, leaving you feeling scattered and unfocused. It is important then for you to approach attention with intention and discipline. You must choose where you direct your focus and consciously decide what deserves your time and energy. Think about it this way. When you are deeply absorbed in an activity, such as playing an instrument or painting a picture, you are not just using your mental faculties, you are also using your physical body. Your muscles are tense, your breathing is deep and rhythmic, and your heart rate is elevated. This is because your attention is focused on the task at hand and your energy is flowing towards it. Now imagine what would happen if you were to direct your attention towards something negative or unproductive. For example, if you were to constantly worry about the future or dwell on past mistakes. In this case, 
your energy would be flowing towards these negative thoughts, which would only serve to drain your energy and lower your vibration. On the other hand, if you were to direct your attention towards positive and uplifting things, such as gratitude, love or creativity, your energy would be flowing towards these things. This would not only boost your energy levels, but also attract more positive experiences into your life. While it can be easy to become disillusioned by the challenges we face as individuals and as a society, it is important to remember that we each have the ability to influence our reality through our thoughts and actions.